Hey, it's Larry Bob, and uh, I got some zines here from the 2011 uh, San Francisco Zine Fest. Uh, here's like a little map of the area. It was the County Fair building, uh, and they've got their, um, uh, you know, their event uh, listing thing. This was given out free. Uh, so I got a bunch of zines and stuff. Um, this was this uh, Gay Genius Comics Anthology. Well, got stuff by a bunch of different contributors. I seem to remember seeing a Kickstarter about uh, funding this, and uh, it's edited by Annie Murphy, who lives in Portland and was down for um, for the Zine Fest. Uh, this Cambodian girl uh, looks really interesting. It's um, written by a woman who went to Cambodia and worked with uh, girls there doing zines, and uh, I got this from the uh, microcosm press distribution table. I also got this issue of Xerography Debt, uh, review zine uh, with Persine tendencies uh, from the microcosm uh, table. Their, uh, microcosm is this uh, zine distributor, kind of the biggest zine distributor, and they have a catalog too, free catalog. You can check out their website as well. Um, let's see. Uh, this is uh, something called The Gods Sure Are Queer. Um, and uh, basically it's sort of uh, stories from mythology, mostly Greek mythology, but there's also some, um, there's also, well, there's a little chart here actually uh, saying uh, where their place of origin, mostly Greece, there's uh, Sumeria, Egypt, and India as well. And then this other side, Perv, uh, involves uh, various vegetables uh, that look sort of like uh, genitalia, and I don't know if I can show the inside pictures you might just have to get that on your own but uh it, you know things look pretty realistic but they you know instead of fig leaves there they've superimposed these on uh, people's crotches uh anyway um this one's called um paint the town rainbow it's uh, a zine that has um uh, various um uh oral history interviews with people including maggie rubenstein and uh, and then there's like drawings that go with that and so on, um, and then the website for that is uh, sharingourhistories.weebly.com. This is a zine called Meta, which is uh, about Margaret Kilgallen, the artist, and uh, some of her work is uh, turns out held by the San Francisco Public Library uh, up in the sixth floor uh, history center up uh, where you can also get their access to their little magazines collection which is uh, where the zines are held at the library um, this is a print by Jim Winters uh, it's titled on Dean and uh, it depicts uh, Rodney Winnell Austin and there is also uh, Rodney's band um, mini pearl necklace um, uh, a CD here with uh, nine cuts on it, I'm told. I um, have to check that out. I got caught up on um, Lovable Oaf. So there's a couple of these things that are um, Muddy Buddy here and uh, Ultimate Sacrifice. These are s special editions that are from other conventions. There's this, um, it says a prelude to Lovable Oaf 3. This is uh, this uh, sort of wrestling alter ego uh, wovable oaf. Oh, and here's an oaf, oaf paper doll here as well. And then here's the actual wovable oaf number three uh, comic. And um, let's see, here's a zine called Dude Transmasculinity. Um, there was a note at the table that the um, person who did the zine was uh, out sick and, uh, but you know, leave money, so I left money. And uh, looks like a nice little zine. I have to check this one out. Um, and here's a call for submissions. The website is dudemagazine.wordpress.com. Um, this is called If You Give a Gay Mouse a Cookie, which is from Art for Democratic Society, uh, website a4ds.org. And uh, it's sort of like, you know, oh, if we give them some rights, then they're going to want all their rights. So, um, let's see. This is... Uh, Joey Elson Sayer zine, Just So You Know, number two. It's a comic zine, um, and uh, it deals a lot with issues of uh, coming out as transgender. And uh, this is also, uh, this is a zine called Paper Cutter. It's an anthology zine published up in Portland. And uh, 
it uh, has a variety of people in different this, each issue. This is issue number 16, and there is a story by Joey Allison Saracen here uh, called Professor Pearson, and also Joey Allison Saracen did the cover. Um, and then this is uh, this in Clutch, uh, Invincible Summer, and Clutch is a split zine, and uh, it's also. I think uh, Clutch uh, is one of the people who puts out um, Paper Cutter, which is, I think Paper Cutter was ex explained as being an anthology of uh, favorite mini-comics uh, artists. Uh, I got a couple issues of the um, Cubby Missalette, which um, put out by, uh, there's sort of like this collective called, the, they do a, they have a band called the Cubby Creatures, and then you know, they do these things, and um, uh, K.M. Sonline was involved at one point. I don't know if uh, he is anymore. And it uh, doesn't seem like he's on the list here. But uh, anyway, various other people. It's sort of, uh, you know, there's definitely some queer content here. Um, it's sort of like the focus of my collecting is queer content in zines. So that's what I got here. I think there was, uh, I think, uh, Divorce the State, a solution to the same-sex marriage problem everyone can get behind is, is one of the pieces in this issue here, uh, which is, um, is the September 2010 issue. Um, let's see. And um, let's see. Oh, this is the 2010 project, a map of the year in 365 pieces, 2011project.com. Um, let's see. Okay. And um, this is being done by Tofu, who's a local artist. Uh, this is a collection of little um, postcards related to inve inventors being killed by their inventions. And I got this at the same table as the um, as this uh, Paint the Town Rainbow, but it was done by a different person. And I don't know if I have much information on who the artist is on this, but these were nice little postcards. And then I got this, uh, it's called My Precious Bear Collection, and it's sort of uh, these various illustrations of uh, kind of, they're kind of like Care Bears, only, uh, you know, kind of different points of view, but they, they have, all of them have ironic tags, like this um, recycle greenwashing bear here has a little tag that says 100% uh, brand new material. Um, or this, the Say No to Drugs bear says, uh, warning, do not inhale inside material. So that's uh, my haul for the 2011 San Francisco Zine Fest.